Oh, welcome back to the show. I was just reading about Joni Hayes from Engel and Volkers. Welcome to the show. I am really happy to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, I know some things about you. We've known each other probably 15 years or so. Help me understand, though, what brought such passion to you about helping people buy and sell houses? You know, my whole life, when anybody's ever said to me, can you help me? It's been that moment that I've been able to put on a cape and rush and help and, and it's a feel good thing. And I managed to pull that passion into my real estate career. And that's what makes me get up every day. Somebody needs me to help them. Well, something special I've watched with you over the years. There are many people who are in fact passionate about real estate, mm -hmm. but they're not very calm. They kind of <laughs> flap around. Yes. How is it that you manage to stay calm throughout the transaction, regardless of what craziness is <laughs> happening with a person on the other side or the other agent or even the home inspector. Yes, the home inspector. Because um, that's my job. My job is to keep everybody calm and to explain to them what's going on at each step. And I think that if my customers know, okay, we've got 10 days to do this, we'll get the responses, they've got a certain number of time to get back to us, let's wait and see how it goes, we can negotiate, we can talk about it. I think that when they know that it's not just going on without them, then that really helps them. You said something that made my heart feel good. You said, if we know that we have 10 days to do this, and which comes up a lot in the Home Inspection Universe, they've yeah. got 10 days, by having a schedule, a predictable path to get from initial meeting to contract to closing, right. how does that help you relieve stress for all the people involved? Well, I think that they can calendar <clears throat> what's going on and at what point they, they either have a, a drop dead date or they know that we have to do this by this point, otherwise they'll lose their money. And so I really think that it's, a, it's, it's just helpful all around that we have a calendar and that there's a, there's a schedule and we stick to it. And if we don't stick to it, that's when things become unglued. You have such a sweet and pleasant voice and accent. Thank you. I am certain that people who are listening to us now are curious where you grew up. Oh, well, I, I'm from England. Um, I grew up about 30 miles south of London in Kent. Um, and I have been in America now for, this will be 38th year. Mm -hmm. 38 years, my right. gracious. Yep. I, I know you're very, very productive. You list and sell large numbers of houses calmly in a relaxing way. Mm -hmm. What's a fun thing for Joni when she's not working? So um, we are blessed with grandchildren and um, that's such fun. We have um, five-year-old twin girls and um, I, we, John and I, we also have twins, but our twin daughters are not the ones with the twins. Isn't that interesting? Yes, absolutely, not so far. So the twins are five and super fun, and we see them as much as we can. They live out of state, so that's great. Um, we also have two older grandsons, and we see them as much as we can too, so family. So you're a mother of twins, a grandmother of twins. Mm -hmm. If we look back a few hundred generations here, back to old England, the, the, the twins continue back some number of generations? Yes, but we didn't know. John and I, my husband and I didn't know that we had twins in our families until we told our families that we were having twins. And then each side said, oh, yeah, you know, we so and so, so. But the Brits don't talk about anything bad. And so it was, you know, not discussed that uncle so and so was a twin, but his brother died. Oh. And auntie so and so was a twin and her sister died. So <clears throat> we had no idea. And, and do you uh, attract a lot of buyers and sellers who are twin friendly? Perhaps that's um, a neat marketing little niche. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's come up that someone's a twin and then we can talk about it, but I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I use that in my marketing, that I'm twin friendly. Yeah. Well, you are right now. Man. I am, well, yes, I am, I am. I'm twin friendly. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, Joni, I'm really happy that you sat down with me. It's thank always you. a pleasure to see you. I'd like to thank Joni Hayes for being with us on the show today. To learn more about Joni, who's really a fascinating lady and enjoyable lady to spend time with, you can get all of her contact information at jacksonvillebuzz.com. Stay with us. Got more good things for you. Be right back.